and this still developing out of Norfolk tonight. Someone shot and killed a man while he was visiting his family. It happened before sundown right in front of his young daughter. The victim is 36 year old Gilbert Johnson. The two were walking on Trapple Street at the Tidewater apartment complex at around 730 last night when shots rang out. Ten of your sides, Lauren Compton has been in that neighborhood all day talking with investigators and family. So Lauren, do we know why this happened yet? Nicole, there's no indication right now why this shooting happened. I asked police if this was a targeted attack. They tell me they have no motives in this shooting, but witnesses I talked to here off camera, they tell me it appears the two shooters came right after Gilbert Johnson and shot him at close range. He had just gotten a new job. He wanted to get married. He was doing, he, he was looking forward to so much. 36 year old Gilbert Johnson never got to live that future. Police say he was walking with his daughter when two men approached him and shot him. A person who saw the shooting told me off camera the suspect shot Johnson at close range, making sure they hit their mark. And to do that in front of his daughter is very, it's just so, I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't even know the words to say. Rodney Frazier was good friends and co-workers with Johnson. He tells me the father of six had recently picked up a second job to support his family. The last time I talked to him, it was just, okay, I got another job, I'm feeling good, and I want to... I want to see you. I want to hang out. I want to have a good time. You know what I mean, I just wanted to celebrate. The celebration will never come now. His friends and family have set up a memorial where Johnson died. For him to be cut down like this, it just it just hurts so bad. It just hurts so bad because he was really excited, and it made me excited. Tonight, friends like Frazier and family will come here to find comfort in their pain by sharing memories and even some laughter because Johnson was known for his humor. We want to remember him in life, his spirit, his smiles, his funny ways, joking, always laughing. All I've known is the good, big-hearted person that he is, and he's always done anything for anybody who asks. And I say he would, he would literally give you the shirt off his back. Now in the distance there, that is the memorial set up by his family and friends here. That's where Johnson was shot and killed last night. Now they tell family members tell me there will be a candlelight vigil here for Johnson starting tonight at seven o'clock. And again, police say they have no motives in this case. So if you know anything about this, call the crime line at 1-888-LOCK-YOU-UP. Reporting live in Norfolk, Lauren Compton, 10 on your side.